Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, happy Sunday and happy Father's Day. If there's any fathers out there uh, watching right now, I just want to tell you happy Father's Day. Um, Dad, I love you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you for everything that you've done for me, for being such a great father in my life and um, just, being a, uh, just being a great man, a great uh, person to look up to. Boys and girls, I hope you had or have a, uh, a great father or father figure in your life that you look up to, that you uh, that's a leader in your household and and a leader in, in your life. Um, you know, our fathers have a lot on their plates. They, they wear a lot of different hats. You hear people say that in your life. That means they have a lot of different roles or, or they're involved in a lot. They're a dad, that'd be one hat. They're an employee or an employer, that's another hat. Uh, they might be a leader in the church. They might be the coach of your softball team or your soccer team or, or whatever it is. You get the point. They do a lot of stuff. They're involved in a lot of different things. And one of their biggest priorities, or probably their biggest priority, is being a father to you. Okay, so um, they've got a lot on their plates, and it is our job to honor them, especially on Father's Day. You know, uh, I hope that you've uh, gotten to uh, get them a gift, a thoughtful gift, or at least spend some time with them doing something that they love to do, whether that be um, fishing or golfing or maybe just going out for a, a car ride somewhere or whatever it may be, hiking, whatever. I hope you've got to spend some quality time with them. You know, stuff like that um, really makes a difference and, and really means a lot to them. So go spend some time with your dad. You've still got some time left uh, today in this Father's Day. But uh, most importantly, just honor them and tell them how much you love and appreciate them. So like I said earlier, our fathers are involved and so much and it's our job to honor them you know that's one of the commandments or one of the ten commandments is to honor your father and mother now today we're gonna to be talking about just the fathers not really the mothers sorry moms but uh, um, you know it's our job to honor our fathers that's a, a commandment so it's a very um, important priority in our lives to God so we need to honor our fathers um, all the time but like I said especially today the, the father in the Bible that we're gonna focus on today is a man named Joseph now, Joseph gets a lot of attention for about two, maybe three weeks out of the year. And that's right at Christmas time. Joseph is Jesus' father. Okay, so um, Joseph is, is part of the story at the beginning, but then once Jesus is born, you know, everybody kind of forgets about old Joseph. And it's on about Jesus and, and the birth of Jesus and everything. You know, Jesus is very important. That's, there's kind of a reason that we kind of forget about Joseph. But uh, Joseph was a great father. Now think about you know the situation he was in. He wasn't technically Jesus's biological father. God told Joseph, "This is going to be your son." Now he was appointed by God to be Joseph's father, so I would definitely say that Joseph was his father. But I hope you get what I'm saying. Uh, Joseph had a decision to make on whether he would stick with Mary and marry Mary and uh, raise Jesus, or whether he would leave and divorce Mary and go on about his life. Um, which a lot of people probably would have done, but Joseph stuck with it. And um, after Jesus was born, King Herod was looking for Jesus. He wanted to kill Jesus or take Jesus away from Mary and Joseph. But Joseph um, was a great man of God. He stood up and he took G um, Jesus and Mary off away where King Herod could never find them and King Herod could never hurt them. That took a lot of guts. That took a lot of, of intuition for Joseph. Like I said, Joseph could have just left the situation at any point in time, but he chose to stick it out and be a good father for Jesus. And then, as you know, uh, the rest of the story, if Joseph hadn't stepped up, you know, who knows what would have happened with, uh, with Jesus. But now we have Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who lived a great life and did many miracles while he was here on this earth. Um, so again, I just want to say that we need to honor our fathers. We, we've got a lot, a lot of great fathers. We've got a lot of great godly um, fathers and parents um, in our church. And I'm so happy for that. I'm thankful for that. Um, and uh, I, I, I see a lot of our fathers in our church. You know, they're, they're involved in a lot. And they've got a lot of responsibilities. But generally speaking, um, for a lot of you kids, your fathers are the ones who 
are the crazy ones that like to cut up with you. They're the ones who are, uh, who are making fun of you, picking at you, um, telling you to do crazy stuff, acting crazy and singing and dancing and carrying on in church, you know. And uh, usually your father's the one that you get in trouble with, right? You know, you um, eat way too much candy or you stay up past your bedtime or you do something dangerous that you really shouldn't do. And what's the golden rule when you're doing something with your dad? Don't tell mom, right? So as long as you don't tell mom, you don't get in trouble, he doesn't get in trouble, and, uh, and all is well. But uh, our fathers also have a lot on their plates. They have a, lo a lot of responsibility, and they care for you so much. You know, they're, they're someone who we look up to as a leader. They're someone who we act fun and crazy with, but they're also someone who cares deeply about us. And when, um, and when we have something going on in our lives, there's, something, there's someone that we can go to and lean on for advice, lean on for support. Now, usually our fathers are the ones to um, discipline us too. You know, uh, or at least discipline us a little bit more than our mothers. Their, their uh, anger level is usually a little bit higher than mom's, and, and mom usually cracks when we reach a certain point. But, you know, dad can always get the point across, or at least my dad could. But, um, you know, uh, I'm thankful for, for all the discipline and everything that my dad uh, taught me growing up, um, things he told me I should do, I shouldn't do, times he corrected me, and times that he praised me. Looking back on my life now, I wouldn't change a thing in the world. And uh, I know that you probably don't understand that sometimes when your parents or your dad won't let you do something or um, makes you do something, but I promise you when you get to be older, you'll look back and say, you know what, that man knew what he was talking about, and I'm, I'm happy that he made me do that because it's helped, me, helped make me into the person I am today. So again, just um, spend the day doing something for your father or spend some time with your father and honor your father today. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you appreciate him. Remember that we have a father in heaven. That's God. And um, God loves us um, way more than our, our biological fathers ever could. Nothing to knock our fathers. That's just the way that it is. Our, our God loves us and is there no matter what. You think your dad loves you and is always there and would do anything for you? Imagine that times a million. That's what our God in heaven is like. You know, we mess up a lot. We do a lot of things that we probably shouldn't be rewarded for, yet God loves us so much that uh, he makes it really easy where all we have to do is believe in his son, Jesus Christ. Believe that Jesus Christ uh, lived on the earth that he died on a cross for our sins and then rose three days later from the dead and that, uh, that we have a living God. That's what we have to do. We ask Jesus into our heart and we are saved. So, um, you know, boys and girls, we've got some awesome father figures in our lives. We've got an awesome heavenly father that loves us. Um, again, I can't emphasize it enough. Just tell your father today that you love him, that you appreciate him, and try to do something for him today. I love you. I hope to see you soon. Um, we're... We're getting back into the swing of things. Where we're kind of starting to open the church back up. So uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to get back into our normal services with our, uh, with our worship songs, with our games, with our object lessons, and all that stuff together back there in the fellowship hall. Fellowship hall and uh, just to be able to have some fun and most importantly, see you guys again. I miss you all. I love you so much. Thank you very much for uh, continuing to watch these videos. See you soon.